The following episode was recorded over the course of several hours and has been divided into three parts. Be warned, what you are about to witness is both tragic and disturbing. You will see Cub pushed beyond his breaking point, driven half mad by his insatiable desire to perfect his work. To our younger and more sensitive viewers, you have been warned. Now we begin with part three. Wait, what? You're going to start with part three? Why not? Because there's no context for it. Context is irrelevant. This will be a long video and the audience needs to know that there is going to be some sort of payoff in the end. So your plan is just to start with the end? Yeah. And how do you plan on ending it? With the end. Again? Again! Now begin! I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I was just consumed. I had to finish, and so I did. And folks, I give you what I believe to be the final iteration of this system. There's a few more items that need to be added to the sorters, but here's pretty much what I got worked out. Basically, the problem I was having, and I don't know, it might still be a problem, but uh, I couldn't get these things to go fast enough. I couldn't get one sorting machine to go fast enough to pull the items out of a chest from three separate quarries. So each quarry now has its own chest and its own sorting machine. You... you should really be sorting flint out now. I don't know why you're not. This machine is. You're not. You are. Okay. So yeah, so there's still a few more items that need to be worked out. Pointed in the right direction. For the most part, it seems to be handling the load pretty well. It'll get a couple items stored up inside of it, but then every so often it'll... There you go. It'll start to play catch up. I'm not sure what the problem is here. This one's doing just fine. Rubies? Rubies are setting both of these good. And uh, so far I'm happy with it. We've got these items going off up here, and, and of course the ores go down there, and the items in barrels go down here to, well, the barrels, where we've got those at. And they get dropped in this chest where they get pulled out and sorted out the traditional buildcraft style way. And then, uh, looks like everything else is a little laggy. I'm thinking about replacing these with the, the opaque tubes. So it'll maybe, hopefully, lower the, the amount of lag we're getting. All of this is getting pumped into here, and we're making char blocks of charcoal in just astounding amounts of time. It is unbelievable the amount of time we're making blocks of charcoal. Everything else is getting sorted out over here. And overall, I think I'm happy. I think it's finally, it's finally working the way I had hoped this. We're getting like a massive buildup of charcoal blocks. Nothing is blown up like it did before. Overall, I'm happy. Like I say, I need to add a few more items. I might need to add some more sorting machines further on down the lines, but as of right now, it's working. And that's all that matters to me. So if you enjoyed this, maybe, maybe give it a thumbs up ski. Now, at long last, I am finished. Good night, world. Maybe when we come back, I'll have my Minecraft character skin back. Creepy sound effects. Goodbye. <laughs> Fantastic. Now what, part two? Oh, of course not. That wouldn't make any sense. Part two requires context. Context that can only be taken from part one. Oh yeah, so now context matters. Context always matters. Now begin! Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here and welcome back to our Tech It Legends Let's Play Adventure. Some of you may notice, hey, wait a minute, this wasn't cancelled. And you're right, yeah, that was that was just a joke. It was an early April Fool's prank. So early it was in December. Seriously, guys, just because like two or three series ended on episode 25 doesn't mean they're all going to end on episode 25. So we're on episode 26, and actually, I had a whole different episode planned for episode 25. I had this whole, whole list of things to do, and then I realized it was episode 25, and I thought, you know what? Nah, let's just troll people. It'll be fun. Uh, of course, that means that I had to push off what we were going to do till this episode, and now we're pushing it off again, because something terrible happened. If we, if we head outside, which is probably where I should have started this episode, I've done something a bit crazy. I built another quarry, so this is quarry 1.0. 1.4, so we had 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, this is 1.4. I was really excited about it, 
until it blew up my diamond sorting pipe, which is apparently a thing that can happen. I was working on our steam tank in there. I was trying to work out just the perfect power settings. I've changed it again since last episode. So each one of these now has its own dedicated consumer bridge uh, producer storage. It's all, it's all set up, got its own stuff so that each one gets the maximum amount of steam possible. And while I was down there, I just heard something go boom really loudly. And I came in here and discovered that our diamond sorting pipe had blown up and things were being spewed out on the ground and it was an awful mess. So what I've done is I've ran the quarries a little bit longer to, to get some more items here. So we've got just sort of this system here, which hasn't blown up yet. I don't know what it is about diamond sorting pipes or why they blow up, but it was very violent. Not all these chests are completely full, but what I've decided to do is we're going to go ahead and hop in just real quick, just real quick, short episode. I say short, it won't be short. It'll be a tiny look into into blue power and blue power sorting and this little room here so we're going to be using some blue power sorting mechanisms to kind of get things done now there's one thing we need to tur uh, uh, turn out <laughs> there's one thing we need to discuss right off the bat bat <clears throat> that is the sorting machine which you can build but does not work in this pack because there is no way to power it seriously these things are usually powered by solar panels but if you go through blue power You'll notice there is no solar panels, and the solar panels that are in this pack, in fact, if we just look up solar, none of these, and I've tested them all in my test world, none of these will produce blue-tricity, and I thought, you know what, maybe the mod's changed, maybe it uses flux, we'll try a solar flux, or maybe we'll try just an entire, no, no, none of these will produce power to power, and there's no other way to power anything, I've looked all through the, the blue, uh, blue power mod, and there's nothing in here that will allow us to power a sorting machine. So we're not going to build one. Tragic fact, very sad. What we are going to do, though, we're still going to we're going to plow right on ahead with this. We're going to build some of these filters. They'll work just fine for what we want to do. Now, the filter is a very simple recipe. The only thing you'll see in here that you might not know immediately what to do with is a red doped wafer. Now, don't worry. We're not going to be giving drugs to any wafers here. I don't think. What we are going to have to do, though, is build an alloy furnace to create, first off, some silicon wafer, which is just sand and coal, so not too difficult. Alloy furnace, it's just a bunch of bricks. We can do that. Heck, we don't even have to go in there to do that because I now have these placed pretty much everywhere. And someone made the excellent suggestion that we build one of the, and I think I talked about this in the last video, but someone made the suggestion, do they have an EMC value? You know what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make probably like four of these so we can just have them all going at the same time. Someone made, once again, the excellent suggestion that we build the transmutation tablet, which is like the table and you can carry it around with you. So that kind of gave me an idea for an episode we're going to be doing here in the very near future. And you know what? I'm, I'm into space saving ideas. Look at that. So we've now got our blue power area. We're going to have to put something in there to how we doing on coal. We're still doing good on coal. I don't think we're producing much steam because we don't need a whole lot of steam at the moment, but oh, and while I'm looking for coal and sand, I need to ask you guys a favor, okay? And uh, you don't have to do this, but if you're listening to this, can you let me know how the audio quality is? Because me and my constant effort to make sure I have the best audio quality possible, I've changed my audio setup once again. I think we can use charcoal in there, so we'll get some coal, charcoal, and some sand. I've changed my audio setup once more, so if you could let me know. How are the plosives? Are they too much? Are they just too overpowering? Also, is my voice coming through clear? Is there too much background noise? No, don't do that. Just let me know down below if you could, and that will inform what I do in the future. So we'll grab some of this, and we will share the load, as they'd say in that excellent Lord of the Rings movie. Um, <clears throat> Lord of the Rings, for those of you who are not aware. Something tells me this hasn't divvied up quite evenly, this charcoal situation. Something's happened. I'm not sure what I missed. But somewhere along the lines, yeah, yeah, 20, ah, ah, you, okay, thank you for that, I'll be splitting this up, wait, no, no, hold on now, that's 17, 11, 15, what? Okay, let's just keep our pants together here, let's not let those zippers start flying. So we got some silicon bowl, bowly, bowly sounds cool, we'll go with that, I think it's incorrect, but we'll go with that, oh, gee golly, I just realized that it actually uses several pieces of, what? Eight? Wow, so it actually takes eight of each. So we've successfully created a few of these. Should we make some more? I don't really know. I mean, they don't have an EMC value, so we might as well. So we'll get four stacks of sand. And we will get four stacks of coal. And we are, the reason we gotta get this up and running is because we gotta get items processing again so I can get the EMC value to actually do sort of our mobile power plans. Has this thing already run out of coal? 
What the fudge? Go back in there, Cole. Get back in there and do your thing. Uh, <laughs> what the heck is going on around here? Did I take Cole out of you as well? I'm so sorry. What about you? You're good. Alright, so we'll get some more of those going in the background. In the meantime, we'll hop over here. We'll grab ourselves a saw. Excellent, we happen to have a diamond one. Is a diamond one necessary for this? Mmm... Let's see. It does show a diamond saw, but I'm not really sure if it's required. And also, there are several saws in blue power that would probably work as well. So we'll get a lot of these. A, a darn just a heck load of them. Probably too many? Probably too many. But you know what? I've said it before. I'll say it again. Go big or go home, and I'm already home, so this is what it is. So now we need to combine it with redstone to get our red doped wafer. And also, I shouldn't really leave these over here. I'm gonna need them with me. So we'll get some redstone and we'll start doping up our wafers. Do you do you reckon we have enough of these? I reckon we got enough of these. We'll go ahead and collect all of these and stop making them. We only need a few sorting machines, or not even sorting machines, the few filters. So what we'll do is we'll split them up. We'll do maybe 32 in here. Okay. And how many of those is it gonna take? Four redstone to every- okay, well that's not gonna work out for very long. I'll have to go get more redstone, but again, I don't really think I need- Oh, look at this, I actually have enough redstone. I bought a stack for each- Wow! I mean, that's still not perfectly- What, what have I done? Oh, good gosh. Ugh. What? Stop it! You know what? I'm happy with the setup we've got. We'll throw some more redstone in here. <laughs> we'll throw a bit more in here. We don't need this many. Just go to filter now. The filter is the next thing we're going to build. And I did kind of do a little bit of mock-up in the room. If we head in there right now, you'll see we're going to need, I believe, so one, I think two, three, four, five. We'll go with five filters for now. We're going to need more later. We might as well go ahead and if we have enough resources, build a few more. I've got five red dope wafers and a filter requires one each. So that'll give us five. 8, 10. We'll go ahead and make... Oh, 11. Oh, my maths are off. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll make 10 of them. And if we need more, again, very simple recipe. So we'll need some cobble. Not kubel. Very different thing, that kubel. If kubel is actually something in your language, let me know. Uh, I don't care what your language is. Just, just let me know that it is a thing in your language. Do tell me... Like, when I say I don't care what it is, I just mean I'm not biased toward languages. Do tell me what the language is. That'll make the fact much more interesting. Or I'll just forget it. We also need pistons. Pistons is also Kubel. It sounds like something that you'd find that you think is funny and you'd look it up in an urban dictionary and you'd realize it's it's not funny and it's highly inappropriate. And you kind of wish you hadn't said it so much in a YouTube video. Tin filters. Awesome. Next thing we're going to need is some pneumatic tubes. You cannot use pipes with these. Now, we have two options. If you're on a world where you're kind of limited on CPU power or anything else, the opaque tube is your best bet because it doesn't actually render the items. You can't see them move. We don't have that problem here. So we're gonna build the regular pneumatic tube, which requires brass, which sadly does not have an EMC value. You know what does not have an EMC value either? Zinc. But fortunately, we've got a lot of it sitting around taking up space. So we'll get some of that. And I believe it said to combine that with some copper which also does definitely have an emc value and it looks like the ratios are three to one so again misspelling words here we'll grab some copper and we'll take it over here you i declare you you're going to do this for me begin now we could split that load up a bit but we're not going to uh someone wanted me to point this or someone pointed this out to me so while that's cooking up let's go ahead and make a quick fix here in the let's play download worlds you guys can't actually adjust these because they're set to private i don't know how to fix that on the chunk loader but i do know on these guys, all I have to do is set it to public. So I'm going to go through the map, and by the time we do our next download world, which shouldn't be anytime soon, so don't get your hopes up, I'm going to go ahead, and rather than having you guys have to break these and replace them, just set them all to public, and you should be able to adjust them on the fly. So that's the thing that I'm aware of. Thanks for making me aware of it. I'll put your comment on the screen if I find it and I'm not feeling too lazy, and that is a problem that I'm aware of and attempting to, to fix, and it should be fixed by the time we do the... Now, I can't guarantee I'll remember it. I, I will most likely forget. Also, something I found, and I think I might have talked about this in the last video, my texture pack obscures it, but there's a little button right here. Clear crafting grid. It's, it's invisible because of the texture pack, but it's nice to know about. Okay, so we've got some pneumatic tubes here. In fact, you know what? Let's get more. I don't think we're going to need a whole lot. We'll get 
A whole stack, though, because you know what? Ah! And there's one more thing we're gonna need that I just remembered. I believe it's called a timer. There it is. So, the way these machines work is because the filters, thank goodness, do not require power. They do require a redstone kind of tick. So this guy here will create that tick automatically. How do you make it? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's gonna take a bunch of this stuff. We start off with stone tiles. Which, thankfully, is just a cooked up piece of stone. So we can do that pretty, pretty easily. We'll grab some stone. There it is. And we'll cook it up in our electric furnace. Begin. And really, the time has come for us to upgrade to the more advanced versions of these machines. They're going to be used in Quarry 2.0. And I've... I've oh, do you have to put... I don't think you have to put Transformer upgrades in them. But if you do... Definitely let me know because that'd be a nice thing to know moving forward. We're gonna need some Tesla lights, something else that has no EMC value, which is taking up a lot of space, I think, in a barrel out here. So we'll grab some of it. Da -da -da. Here it is. Grab just a stack, should be plenty. We'll fly back in here and hopefully we'll have enough of these done to kind of continue. Ten of them. It looks like we're gonna need nine, so we're good to go there. So we're gonna need two of them just straight up by themselves. And then I think probably all of these are, yeah, they're going to require test light to some degree. So these three are just the stones. One, two, three. Two over here. Test light. Okay. So we've got the three of those. Pretty straightforward. Bluestone wire tiles, stone tiles. I'm not going to bother reading these. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, that'll give us three. And we only need two. So you better be done. Thank you. We'll do three and then... Awesome, so we've got those, we've got one extra. We're gonna have to build more than just one of these as well, but I figure we'll go ahead and build one now, just kind of to demo it. Stone and a redstone, okay. Again, none of this is particularly difficult. You'll probably have most of these things sitting around, but it is a pain when they don't have EMC values and you have to kind of just build them. All right, so we got one of those, and then we've got one of those, and we should now be able to build our timer. Amazing. And again, we're going to need one of these for every filter we have. Or, actually, I don't think that we will. I think we can use, if we build some wire, we could probably just rig up one to activate all of them. So let's see if we can get some wire here. We got to get just the right kind of wire. I believe it is the red alloy wire. Is that what you build? It's not bluestone wire. It might be bluestone wire. Bluestone wire seems like a good thing to build. Redstone wire just uses red, red, uh, mm. how do you get blue stone? It's just some silver and some, well, guess what? We're going to go ahead and try this. So we'll grab some silver and we will grab some test, 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 test. Do I already have some? I thought I already had some. Did I already use it all? I think I have it all back there in that project table. In any case, we got it all. And you know what? We've got a lot of these little furnaces that aren't doing much. So we'll put them to work with our one piece. Um, mm. Mistakes were made. Let's try this again. We'll put this in here. We'll add some of these. We'll take this out. You get to work. You do that thing. For, in the meantime, let's go ahead and set up at least one of these so I can kind of give you the idea. I think most of you who have watched like original Tech It and stuff, I know I've got a lot of people who have never done modded Minecraft before watching, which is really cool. I think most of you guys will know how this works. So just place your filter facing toward the direction you want the items to go. So we've got the chest here, which is going to be our input for all of our quarries outside. We want the items to be pulled out of the chest and go that direction. So I put a block back here, place this thing down. Next up, we're going to take our pneumatic tubes, which we've already got. That's not a pneumatic tube. That is, though. And we're just going to plug them right up there into that chest. Next, we're going to take this guy. I'm going to put him over here on the wall. Nah, I, mm, again, I don't know if that wiring's going to work. We're going to put it to where this little blue guy, see that little kind of looks like a torch almost poking out there, is touching the filter. So that'll activate it. And we're just going to throw some items in there to test. And each time it activates, it should take out a stack of items. Zip them up there into that chest. Excellent. Now, from here, we're going to take the items out of the chest and send them to other places. How are we going to do that? Well, if we right-click the filter, you can filter which items you want specifically to be pulled out. So, let's say we just go ahead and tell it only take out the stone, and then we fill this chest full of junk. When it triggers next time, there go the stone bricks. Yep, there they go. And you have some other settings here. Filterness. You can change it from the fuzziness to fuzzy, exact, or normal. And you can have it 
color items as they come out or paint them, which is really cool and kind of takes us into the next thing we're going to be looking at in this episode. Yes, this is a this is a full episode, folks. We got all kinds of things we got to do because we built our pneumatic tubes, we built our filters, we got our alloy. We're working. We need to find out if this works. So before we do anything else, let's grab some of this stuff. We'll try to make some wires out of it. And I believe the recipe was just stretch it along like so, bluestone wire. Hopefully this will work because it'd be nice to have all these on just one there we go, one of these, and I have to build another one. So let's say we just have it facing that way. Okay, yeah. Right. Get our stones out, put them back in here. Ah, fantastic. So I don't think that there's a limit to how far you can put these things. I think they'll just keep going. The signal will keep going. Yep, okay, cool. So look at that. We can just have them all working off of this one timer. If you wanted to build other timers, you could do that. Because, you know, it might be useful to be able to control the frequency at which this thing goes. So, for instance, if you right-click on this timer, you can set it. Right now, it's doing intervals every two seconds. Let's say that's causing some lag to your world, though. That's not going to <laughs> That's not going to help. What will help is if you, let's say, increase it to, let's just say, five seconds. A little bit slow. Whoa, well, that was odd. Did y'all see that weird visual? Must just be a problem with it going so slow. But you're, you're here, it is still working, so that's good. It's got that going for it. Next up, like I said, we need to build some paintbrushes, and here's why. What we're going to do is we're going to have the items for, we're trying to get the quarry processing up and running again. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to split it out into three different lines, one going into each of the hoppers so that we still have sort of a, a system set up to where they won't get too full or over. Oh, I should mention this too. If there's no space left in an inventory with these uh, pneumatic tubes, they will not send the items. So if a hopper gets full, it will not send any items through that hopper which are to that hopper until the hopper is empty. Really fantastic, really like that about this mod. Anyway, what we're gonna do though is we're gonna still have them split up and, you know what, I think this is kind of like telling a story. You should just show, not tell. So let's go ahead and we will demo what we're gonna do. What we need to do is we need to build some paint brushes. So we're just gonna type in brush. And we've got two different things here. We've got build craft and we've got blue power. Make sure you build the correct one here, okay? This is very important. We're gonna go with the basic colors black red and green first off we have to build the paintbrush which requires us to get some wool and a stick i know i know very complicated i don't think the color of the wool matters i don't think it'll affect the paintbrush we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make three of these because we want three different colors one two three sticks and i might be wrong it might make brown nope does not and oh do they have an oh they have an emc value well you know what we might want some more paintbrushes later i don't think that these like certain other brushes in this uh pack I don't think that they have any durability to worry about. But then again, some of the other brushes in this pack can do some really cool things decoration-wise, which we will cover later on. Now we need to make some paint. So to make a paint, you're going to need some flaxseed, some ink, and a paint can, which is some zinc plates. You make zinc plates using zinc and iron in your alloy furnace. Do we have any iron? Uh, and yes, iron, iron fern, or alloy furnace, in case y'all haven't figured it out yet. It's kind of important when you get to your blue power. Awesome, we have some zinc left over, so we will toss it in here with our iron. We'll wait on that to get going, or we won't. We're going to go ahead and collect some flax seeds, which we should have a lot of because we've been picking them up. Is that... No, that's not all the flax seeds we have. That seems highly irresponsible if it is. I'm pretty sure... We've got to have some more flax seeds. Look at that. A flax seed here. A few flax seeds there. Tons of them. They do not have an EMC value. Uh, most things in blue power do not. Which is, again, not a fault of blue power. It is it's a choice by the pack developers over at Technic. And for whatever reason, they've, they've made these choices. that I can't change them. Oh, well, I could. I could go into... Or, in fact, I don't even have to go into the config. There's a command you can do to add an EMC value to these things. But we're not going to do that. How are you doing? You got us some... Awesome. Some zinc plates. We'll take them over here. We will create our paint bucket. And again, no EMC value. It looks like we can go ahead and make two of them, though, at least. And we will need one more because we're doing three different colors of paint. But we're going to go ahead and finally, at long last, use our flex seeds or some ink, which I have neglected to get. And while I'm up here and I'm thinking about it, we'll grab our ink. We will also go ahead, or we'll grab our black paint. We'll also go ahead and grab, we're going to need some rose red. And we're going to need, I'm going to guess, cactus green. Cactus green. Okay. Oh, we'll go ahead and grab these while we're up here. Amazing. 
And we'll hop down here. The last of it we're going to need for our final paint can. And I might make some more paint cans later, so I'll just go ahead and let it keep going. We've got plenty of zinc laying around if we need to make more. So we got our paint can. Our color, we'll start off with the black one. Some flax seeds. Oh, cool, it's shapeless, so it doesn't matter where you put them. Get our black paint. We will get our green paint. And we will get our red paint. Now we just combine the paints with the brushes to get a red brush, a green brush, and our black brush. Awesome. Now, next up, we've got... Oh boy, it actually looks like we've got everything. So we're gonna go set these up. We're gonna... I've got these set up here so we can more easily place our filters. Okay, we're gonna break these. And I guess I'm gonna have to break all of these now, aren't I? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe mistakes were made. Okay, now we're gonna run our pneumatic tubes. And as you can see, all these tubes are going to run together, but because we have our paint can, that won't be a problem. If you don't know why, you'll find out soon enough. Okay, so they're all hooked up there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here and we're gonna set up our filters to uh, to color the items with different colors. So I guess we'll go around starting here. We'll do black, red, green, and you can probably see now why I went with these three colors. Now when we get over here, we're gonna have this one colored as black, this one colored as red, and this one colored as green, and it looks like they do have a bit of a damage value, but we're not painting a whole lot of things. So it won't be a whole heck of a lot of trouble. All right, so we've got all that hooked up. Next up, we need to tell these items what they need to filter out. And again, like I said before, this is going to be, this This is specifically going to filter out our ores. So let's grab, the reason I had these back up and running again was because I wanted to have some ores to sample with. All right, so going through here, we don't really have a wide variety of different ores, sadly. And this is the one thing I dislike. The one thing I love Buildcraft, and I love the fact that it doesn't take up items when you when you put them into a sorting pipe. It just kind of imprints them. What I, what I dislike about that is if your pipe, say, blows up, you have no more references. But we'll go ahead and just say here 10, and of course it does take and keep the items. So we'll put 10, and ah, you know, we'll put the two coppers in here. So two coppers here. We'll do, say, just tin there, and we'll do iron and yellow right over here. And I realize I got those in mixed order, but whatever. Now we gotta rig these guys up so that they are also connected using our bluestone wires. I think we're gonna need some more of them. It's that moment you realize you didn't really make as many of these ingots as you thought you did. But oh well, we got 56, so that should be enough. Okay, there we go. That'll work. We're gonna do that over here as well. Not very pretty, but effective, and we have to get one over here as well. So I guess you're not needed anymore. Okay, and then we'll put you back down. Does it matter? Don't think it matters, but we'll put you back down. Oh, I can put you behind that pipe. Will you still output a signal? Oh, neat. It is kind of in the pipe. But I don't think that'll actually cause a problem. We're gonna we're gonna slow it down to about three seconds. That seems pretty reasonable. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and tell this one to get rid of that filter. It will, of course, start picking up junk. But these guys will not pick up that junk because they've been set to pick up very specific things. I got another filter, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up some more of these, kind of going along here using different chests and things, and probably just teleporting items out afterward. But we'll, we'll put another one here for anything that is not an ore, so it'll have somewhere to go. But let's go ahead and grab our ores, and we'll go ahead and test this. Okay, I think I've got all the ores here. We're just gonna go ahead and toss them into this chest. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all of them. And we're gonna hop up here and see if our handiwork has paid off. So, yep, there they go. As you can see, they've been colored, so the copper is black. The yellowium is green, which is funny. Maybe I should have painted that yellow. But you'll see they're all traveling to the same pipe, and when they get down here, they will be divvied out to their specific colors. So this one will go all the way to the end. Yep, bypasses them all. That one went straight into awesome. So we're still using Buildcraft here a bit. We've still got the teleporting pipes. When they're done here, they're still going to be teleporting back out to this chest where they will be sent out in the form of coal blocks. And we're still probably gonna use teleport pipes for the quarries. I think what I'll do is I'll have them all, because the teleport pipes didn't blow up. They didn't have an issue with all of the items. They just, it was the diamond sorting pipe that had the issue. So we'll probably still use them to like dump items into this alchemical chest. I'll go ahead and set up a system for an EMC pass through and kind of maybe sending more items back over here. 
where we kind of originally had our sorting going. And I'm going to do all that off screen because that's a lot of work that's going to be really boring. And I think this episode's probably ended up being long enough. But that's it. That's that's sort of your beginning into sorting. I, I, I'll keep looking into the sorting machine to see if I can't get it figured out and figure out why it's not working. But as of right now, th this works fine. These filters work great. I like the fact that we can have them all triggered by the same timer. And again, the timer, that's from, that's from Blue Power. So it's all from the same mod. And it, it, they all work pretty well together. The only thing I do wish is that I could just attach a teleporting pipe to the pneumatic tubes. Maybe a teleporting tube? That would be cool. That sounds like something your TV would do in an alternate reality. But I digress. We'll see you folks in the next video. Bye. And now, part two, or dose, or... You don't know any other ways to say two, do you? The second one? Uh-huh. The sequel. Begin! No. No, 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 no! Wrong! Wrong! I was so wrong! It's all wrong! It's all broken! Folks, I can't end this episode yet because I was wrong! This is not- this is not working at all! Basically, the problem is, yeah, ores will go in here, and they'll get taken out here, but they'll also get sucked down over here! And this is taking forever, and it's all- it's all broken! So I hopped into a test world, and I was like, why so broken? Why is it all so broken? It was so broken! And then I figured it out. It turns out, guess what, folks? At blue power, the- it's, it, it works! The sorting machine that we- we- it works. It really does actually work, and I was wrong. Mistakes were made. It doesn't- it doesn't have power. You can't apply power to it because it doesn't need power. You stop. You stop. Just stop. I've got to fix this. I've created a mess and only I- I- and I alone can fix this. So we're gonna go ahead- Oh, jeez. We're gonna leave these things- Oh, no. It's such a mess. I've created such a mess now. What we're gonna do is- Oh, jeez. We're gonna let these things keep going, and hopefully they'll empty out. We're gonna grab this filter here. We're gonna convert it into a sorting machine, and then that way, I can demo the sorting machine, and then I've gotta fix all of this, because terrible mistakes were made, because this system does not work. And I'm- I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I'm shamed. My family might just disown me. Filter, though. Filter my filter. What are we gonna do with you? We're gonna- we're gonna add some- some more doped wafers and some iron. Do I have any more doped a- where, where are the doped wafers? There's the doped wafers. Aw, oh, jeez. Okay, one of these. We're gonna need some iron. I thought I was done! I thought I was finished! I was so happy! I sat back to watch the system and it just- It all went to chaos. It went to absolute heck in a handbasket. It was- it was terrible. Alright. Boom. Sorting machine done. All right, so we've got this bad boy. It's totally pro. Look, I even tried to fix it by building another one of these. This was all mistakes. All mistakes. All the time. It's like a terrible, like, TV show. We'll put one of these here. We'll put down our sorting machine. We'll get rid of all this. Go away. Go away. This all... It's all- it's all unnecessary, is what I'm getting at. Okay? <laughs> so we're gonna delete all of these things. We're just gonna get rid of all this like none of it ever existed. We're gonna get rid of these- Look at this. Look at all this nonsense. Okay, excellent. Get rid of all- No, get rid of all this too. Pneumatic tubes, we're only gonna need the one of you coming out of here now. Excellent. You- You pneumatic tube, bridge to nowhere, go away. You were brilliant while you lasted for like five minutes. Look at me breaking the wall. Why won't you break? Break! Jeez! Where's my pork? I don't even have any pork. Alright. No. No. For Pete's sake, no. Sorting machine. I don't- what do we- we want this set up. We want it to go any item with default. Okay, and we're not gonna set this up yet. Pull mode. Single step. Okay, what's that? One item column, depending on the mode, will be pulled for every redstone pulse. Automatically pulls items at a regular interval. Is that what we want? We probably want that. We'll find out. I didn't really do a whole lot of testing with it, but what I want to tell it is, you know what? Send on black Yakapa. And you know what? T check this out. Uh, if you put it on fuzzy, considers items to be the same when they are or dictionary equivalents. Guess what? This copper and this other copper are or dictionary equivalents, so we only need one in there. We only need one tin. We only need 
I guess we'll send this one to red and we'll put the iron on there and we'll send this one to green and we'll put the yellow right on there. All right, excellent. Did I have any other ores on me? I don't think I had any other ores in the system. So theoretically, when we put all these guys back in here, they'll go by themselves. Look at that. No redstone pulse required. It's like magic almost. Like magic, they will magically just get pulled along this system. Oh, it's glorious. Look at this. So that's taken care of. And then you know what? We've got it set up to say uh, any items or we can set it up to say send um, none. So anything that isn't a color will be sent along to here. I think. So if we just throw other items in here. Theoretically, they'll all get pulled out. Yes, and be sent to this chest. And we can change this chest to another sorting machine. And then we can sort out a whole other selection of items. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, for shame and embarrassment, all of that was just a terrible, awful experience. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll discontinue this. And I'll just run another pipe along here. And just plug it into here. I'm so sorry about that, folks. An entire episode, I think it came out, it was 30 minutes worth of recording. I don't know how long it'll be. But yeah, I just, I'm a fool. What I should have done is I should have actually tested it. I, I, I looked at it and I saw there's no way to give it power. It, it needs power, but it doesn't. There you go. Just pull mode, sort mode. Ugh. All right, I guess I'll go ahead and we'll, I'll do a little bit more work on it and then I'll kind of demo the final product and I'll do it on. Are, are y'all still, y'all are still doing your things. I won't mess with you. All right, let's do this. Alright folks, so this is the system I've got going so far. I'm going to add a couple more of these sorting machines a little bit later. I'm going to let these keep going since they're kind of, well, where are they even teleporting these things to? Where, where are you sending that? Frequency to? Okay, yeah, you needed to go there. You should be sending to frequent, well, I took that. Okay, I'm going to have to do that manually now, but, as I was saying, now the system is set up to take all of these ores and send them, of course, the way they were sending them. Send cobble and sapphire and flint. I've got to fill all these out, but they're going to send them to blue, which is way down here. It's going to be our EMC chest. And because I haven't actually had a use for that diamond U-bend pipe we used a couple of minisodes back, I'm not going to use it here and just hope for the best. It happened in testing world, but so far, all that this thing has actually been able to pull out is blocks of charcoal, so I'm just going to hope for the best. Got that set on secret frequency 5, so that should work no problem. And then everything else is being sent to just a blank unmarked... Oh, I don't actually have one. Okay, everything else will be sent to just this blank unmarked chest. For now, I'm going to set it up with, a, like I said, a couple more sorting machines, so that we'll have some items moved over here into that sorting system. And of course, hopefully it's all going to work. But uh, theoretically, I should now be, just be able to throw all these things in there. And they should go their respective ways if we take a look. Some of these items are going to be marked blue. Yep, the cobblestone's going to be marked blue. The, 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 the dirt's going to be marked blue. Now, is it sending them one little stack at a time? Because that could get... Oh, that's going to be painful. Can I set it up to send in... Let's see. Pull mode. Automatic. Sneak for inf... Okay. Automatically pulls items. So, single sweep for every redstone... One every will be pulled for every redstone. Pull automatic. Yeah, I guess just automatic is the way to go. Sort any items with... Is there a way to change this to take, like, entire stacks? Can I do that? Fuzzy. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Yes, we can. What we have to do is we actually have to get a stack of the item. So that's one odd thing about this. But if we have a stack of dirt... I don't know why I typed in stack. But if we get, like... Let's just say we'll, we'll get two stacks of dirt. We'll put a stack of dirt in here. Mm, is that not how it works? Oh, I guess it works. Ah, there we go. A stack of dirt there, and then we'll put another stack in here. It pulls out the dirt as an entire stack. So it works as long as you have a stack of the item in here. Which is going to be... a. Ugh, it's not really going to work for our ores, but I guess for things like cobblestone and dirt, which are the two items we get the most of when we're mining, it won't hurt to go ahead and just say, yeah, stack of... Stack of... Stack of... There we go. It's a bit iffy, but there you go. Stack of dirt and stack of cobblestone. And that'll that'll make the system run a little bit more smoothly. That'll go in here, of course. And it doesn't know what to do with it because we haven't told it to make charcoal. Jeez. Jeez. There's so much to get done. There's just so many things to do. All right. Wait, no. Dang it. Make charcoal blocks. That's what we want you to do. Yeah, see, that's not pulling anything out right now. Ah, but charcoal blocks. 
So, some sort of magic that I was previously unaware of is now taking place. But there you go, and then the other items that were, for some reason, dirt got sent away. And cobblestone? What? No, now wait. Wait a minute, little system. You're supposed to send those along blue. Let's try again. Ah! Alright, I'm down to my last idea. If we paint this white... We have to get rid of the paint on here. Do I just break it to get... Can we just do that? That seems like the best bet. So if we set that to white, and we tell this thing, hey, odd items, send them to white, and then we fill this with just assorted chunks of, yeah, dirt, right? So we'll, we'll grab some more. I'm about to starve to death. Mix these up into different sizes. Excellent. Eat the pork. Okay, machine. Eat the dirt. What are you going to do with it? You're going to paint it blue. Where are you going to send it? Oh, bah! Fine. One more run down to the... C can I change this now? If I, like, change the dirt to, let's say, full stacks. Okay, 64. And I just... No, wait. Yeah, okay. That's not going to work. It's going to take the odd... No the ones that aren't... Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh! I figured it out! Before we had any item with default, if you click through a couple more, you get any stack with default. You gotta be shrekin' me! This is just nonsense, okay? So, in recap, to finish this off so I could go to flippin' bed, this is what we've got. You got your chest here. We're gonna have items teleporting in there from our quarry. We'll even put it there, and we'll set it to receive on channel 1. Then we'll have this over here. We'll go ahead and we'll say, items with an EMC value, like your coal. You set this to pull mode, you set this to sort mode, any stack with default. We can set these back over here to our, our different ore colors, and I'll put some ores in there once I find some more. Because I think I already sorted them all out, and I don't think we got any more left just sitting around. So, I'll be darned if I don't have to go through that process again. But that'll, that'll do it. That'll, and you know what? I just, I'm done. I've got to go to the bathroom. I've got to go to work in the morning. I'm tired. I'm kind of hungry because all I had was like a sandwich. And I'm, I'm just done. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Well, folks, I guess that's it. Not just yet. We have to watch part three. We already saw it. Now we'll watch it again and fast forward. With loud rock music. Wait, no, no, wait. Now it's over. Hmm. What? I, I, I was just thinking, I, I could have set it up with three identical sorting machines on a single chest, and then that way... Are you really going to do this again? I can't believe that you would... Howdy, folks, and welcome back to the unexpected, completely unplanned part four of this video. I've finally done what I think is going to be the finished finale version. We've got a single chest, everything's pumping into it. We've got three sorting machines, all set up basically the same. Not all of them have all the same items. I I need to go through this chest here and whatever kind of gets filtered in here by accident, go ahead and apply it into these into these sorting machines. Uh, a couple of which seem to be jammed. No, 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 they're good. That They just do that when they, I guess, cycle something out. This guy here's not doing a whole lot of work. All right, but good. Everything is functioning exactly as intended. We're not getting too much of an FPS dip back here. Again, I think I might replace these with opaque tubes later on. If it gets bad, I'm not going to do it right now because everything's working pretty well. And you know what? We're going to end this one on a happy note. It's finished. It's good to go. And <sighs> I mean, this episode was not planned. But it's done. I think we're going to go with a different episode than what I had planned for the next one. Not another unplanned episode. We're just going to kind of reorder them. Because we've been talking about the nether base. We've been talking about Quarry 2.0 for a while now. And I think it's time we, we turn around and really focus and dig down into that. So that's what we're going to do. Next episode, we're going to start working on some stuff for nether base. And yeah, I'll see you all then. Bye. As you can see, dusts aren't sorted in here. They're sent through the black pipe down to the second sorting machine, where they are sorted into the dust chest, which is orange, 
as you can see right here. Any other items that aren't sorted in this box will go through black again. I said I, you can set it to whatever color you want. I just set it to black, and they'll go into this one, where they will either be sorted or put into the dump chest. And there's actually quite a bit in our in our random dump chests that haven't been sorted yet. Maybe not in that one, but in or that one for that matter. But in that one for sure, and in this one, full of stuff that I've yet to sort that I need to sort. I just haven't done it yet. Sticks should be sorted actually into the wooden stuff. So let me do that real fast. 